So we continue to. Bleh. So we. Bleh. Part three. We're refining the irrigation system. A couple of things I've come to a conclusion with is it's a long way down to the stream, so I'm trying to find other water sources. Uh, that <laughs> mud hole up the road is just really brackish and hard to work with. I found another one. It's substantially, well, it's three miles from the tree field as opposed to a mile and a mile and a half. So it's a little bit further, but with the truck we can haul it. I'm gonna try that. I think I can access it right from the road. I don't have to get anything off the trailer, go from there. The other thing I'm gonna do is I wanna run in town and I wanna hook up that IBC container. I wanna get the fittings right so I can hook right up to the lower valve and pump right off from that pump into that I think it'll make it much easier than climbing up over and suctioning out the other thing I noticed is uh, we can use the head pressure from the tank to help boost the pressure into the pump and hopefully some of those kinks will straighten out so that's kind of the plan today uh, we're gonna get more water we got 1100 gallons out yesterday I'm gonna try to get more out today uh, there is a 20% chance of thunder showers on the mark today. Um, again, hit or miss, but if they if they hit us, then we'll be able to stop irrigating because the sky will do it for us. Hey, if you like what you're seeing, if you're learning anything, comment down below. Uh, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram, Quinn's Tree Farm. I try to post there every once in a while and as the holiday season gets closer we'll be doing a lot more posts there if you like what you see hit the notification button like the video uh, I know that you hear this on every video that you watch on YouTube but there's a reason for it the, uh, the studies show that the more people like and subscribe to a channel and uh, videos the more YouTube will pop it up for people who might have the same interests as you and I All right, that is great. So like I said, that's like three miles out of the way, or three miles to the field. But I can pull right up by the side of the road, drop my hose in, fill up, head back. I think that took like 15 minutes total. So we're heading back. I'm not moving very fast, about 20 miles an hour. That's gonna take a little bit longer, but I'm okay with that. I'll see you when I get to the field. I do have one issue though. I gotta go down the hill. Freighted. We'll see how that goes. I'm going down now. If you hear me swearing or anything, you know I got a problem. I'll just put it down in low gear and we'll give it a shot. No problems, on to the field. I'm wicked happy. That is working very well. Took me 40 minutes. It's 11.25 now. 
I left at 10.45, got a load, brought it, sprayed it out, and now I'm heading back home and it's 11.25, so that's 40 minutes round trip to do one tank. Uh, it's getting sunny, it's getting to the high noon point, going to head home, work on tweaking that a little bit better. Uh, I want to use that uh, discharge at the bottom. I think if we can utilize that, it'll be much easier. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked. All right. Big old setup of different fittings. But what we have here is the two inch, two inch quick connect to uh, inch and a half iron pipe to national standard double female to get the female intake. really happy to announce that the Assover tree kettle field is completed and put 2200 gallons of high quality H2O on the ground uh, not to mention the uh, first couple of trips with the 100 gallon bucket so probably closer to 2500 gallons I'm going to go get my last load of water for the night and I'm gonna put it on the Southfield Wildlings. I'm really happy with the way this all turned out, uh, except for a couple of hiccups that you didn't see on camera. Uh, me losing the entire pump setup on the road halfway to the fill site. Um, things went really well. Um, so I'm very happy. It looks like the trees have bounced back a little bit. They seem to be a little bit happier. They're looking at me kind of with a little smile on their face. So that makes me happy. So at a minimum, we have bought ourselves some time and at best we'll get some rain and we won't have to do this again. In conclusion, I'd really rather feel bad in Maine than feel good anywhere else. And I have happy trees. There I go, my friends. I'll see you soon.